Hello, and welcome to this episode of Patents TV. Today, Jeff Bond and myself, Sandy Salmonfield, will discuss how to place a special order request for a title not currently in the Indiana Center for Accessible Materials, or ICAM, repository. Before we jump in, let's talk a little about the ICAM and our mission. Our mission is to assist Indiana's local education agencies, LEAs, by meeting the NIMAS regulations of the IDEA reauthorization of 2004 by securing accessible textbooks and core curriculum materials in accessible formats in a timely manner for students with a documented print disability. The ICAM supports literacy by providing access to several libraries where you can order accessible educational materials, AIM, for your students who have a documented print disability. The term AIM refers to any format of educational materials that is accessible to individuals based on their needs. Students who have one of the print disability identified by the IDEA need textbooks in their preferred format, as well as fiction titles and more. The files can be read on almost any device, smartphones, tablets, Chromebooks, computers, and assistive technology devices. Students with dyslexia need support in reading skills beginning with decoding words. So text-to-speech and audiobooks offers a multi-sensory aspect that can keep them from falling behind typical readers. If the identification of dyslexia occurs after third grade, these tools can help them catch up. Some students will have physical limitations that prevent them from managing a book, turning pages, or sitting at a desk or table for prolonged periods or at all. For these students, it might be more appropriate to use a portable device that is placed within their visual range and has audio features. Students with visual impairments, VI, may rely on Braille or large print for reading. The Indiana Education Resource Center, IERC, provides both formats in hard copy and digital. Digital Rights Managers, or DRMs, use the ICAM IERC online ordering and student registration system to place orders for eligible students. This interface can be found on our website. You will then enter your credentials, your username, and your password, and click to agree to the terms and conditions. Choose Login. Next, you will select search ICAM slash IERC and enter the information for your search. For this example, if I was looking for Tom Sawyer, I would enter it and click Submit. As you can see, there are many options for this title, so I would then add to my book bag and continue with my order. For this demonstration, I will select search ICAM slash IERC again and enter a title I know that is not available, such as a SpongeBob book. I will use Sponge for my search and select Submit. Since this title is not available, I would then make special request. On this page, I would fill out all required fields as noted with an asterisk. In the special instructions field, I would enter Bookshare or Mac and Via, and then I would be ready to submit the special order request. The special order request is now finished, and the ICAM will search for the title, place the order with Bookshare or Mac and Via, and provide the DRM with the student login credentials for Bookshare or Mac and Via. Jeff Bond will now explain the next steps. Thank you, Sandy. I am Jeff Bond, the ICAM Technology Specialist. And Sandy left off in the ICAM Web Ordering System, and down in the lower left-hand corner of that system was the special instructions information 
where she asks you to put in either ICAM for Mac-in or for Bookshare. This is the back end of the system, and over in the right-hand corner here is where we have the special instructions that we see as to whether or not the request has been Mac-in or Bookshare. So in this instance, we're going to say that the request was a Mac-in order. So from that order, we actually go to Mac-in and log in as administrators, and we add the student information to their backpack. We include the user ID, which tends to be student with four digits, and then the password and the student's first name. Once we have actually gone to Mackin, made the request, and waited for Mackin to process the order, we get an email from Mackin that says that the particular file is available. So from there we go in and we add it to the student's book pack, and from there we actually send out an email to the DRM with the student's user ID, their password, the title, and in this instance, it's an assignment. Mackin has two ways that materials can be assigned to students. One is through assignment, and we assign them through a particular um, time frame, or they can be a checkout. Those two are determined by the um, author themselves as to whether or not they want them to be assigned or checked out. The other things that are important in this email are the Mac and Via login screen, which takes you um, right there. It's a hyperlink. <clears throat> and also the ICAM school that the student is enrolled in. We have three schools. One is the ICAM elementary school for kindergarten through fifth grade. And then we have the ICAM middle school, which is sixth grade through eighth grade. And then we have the ICAM high school, which is ninth grade through 12th grade. And those are divided up to make sure that appropriate materials are assigned to those particular um, various schools. So this is what the um, DRM would get. The other version of the same type of email is going to be for a checkout. And the instructions, they are basically the same. We have the ICAM login, or Mac and Via login, I'm sorry, and then we have the ICAM school that the student is enrolled in. And again, username, password, the title of the book, and in this instance, the checkout date that the student can have access to the materials. And there are, are it's a 21-day checkout, and there are two renewals that could be available. It also shows the format that's available, and in this instance, it's ebook. From there, the student would then go to the Mac and Via login, and here is where you will find the school that the student will enroll in. And if the student is middle school or elementary, they just need to go to not your location and then put that location in. They put in their user ID, their password, and simply log in. Once they log in, in the upper right hand corner, they'll find their blue book pack. And that blue book pack, when opened, have the five following um, details. The two that we're interested in are basically the checkout, whether or not that student had a checkout assignment, or if the student had an assignment that's um, been given to them for a certain amount of time. Simply clicking on it will take them into those books or those files, and they'll be able to um, start reading. For Bookshare, it's a little bit different. Um, this is the student add-on screen for new members, and those things that have the little asterisk are things that um, we need to put in for information for Bookshare. Very similar, a little more detailed than, than the Mac, and, um, but basically the same kinds of things. We still would put in the username and password um, and we also put in the school district. That way it gives us an opportunity to sort of sort through if we need to for data collection. So this is the email that would be sent to the DRM once the book has been assigned to the student's account um, for the Bookshare order. 
again, we still have the student username, password, the title, and then the assignment, which is read now, or in this instance, it could be a uh, EPUB download, it could be audio. All the basic information is available here for the DRM to pass on to the students so they can log in um, and get their materials. This is the Bookshare login screen kind of blown out up in the upper right hand corner is the login where the student will put their information in, be their username and password. And then once logged in, they'll find the books that are assigned to them, which are the two right here, or they can download the books if they want to have the books um, downloaded as an EPUB format that can be put on a iPad or a Chrome device. Um, and then whether or not there will be any reading list. For questions related to this video, please contact Jeff Bond, the ICAM Technology Services Specialist, jbond at pathinsproject.org, or Sandy Stabenfeld, the ICAM Digital Services Specialist, s. Stabenfeld at pathinsproject.org.